Ears of Mike, get to the chopper! Mmm, very nice. Loving how these are done. People, this is the Chiapa Charging Rhino 50 or Fiddy if you're that way inclined. Ha! <laughs> DS. Oh, 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 he's handsome. Oh mate, I'm not gonna lie, this looks gorgeous. To some people it's ugly as hell, but I, I, I think this is amazing because I love it when certain things look different. It's not the norm, it's not your standard. And boy is this not standard. Now, before we go any further with this Chiapa, I've heard people say Chiapa, I have no idea which one is correct, but I hear more people say Chiapa than Chiapa. Anyway, before we get to the start of the show itself, what else do we get in this very nice hard case? Ah, lots of goodies. And you know um, what I find quite interesting about this bag of goodies? Well, it's not just an airsoft thing. Now, I was going to throw this away, but I won't. Look, even the plastic bag <laughs> is branded. And it's supposed to be the limited edition. We'll have a look at that in a moment. But yes, you get an instruction manual. And what you'll see in there is the more standard version. And I'm loving with this limited edition set, you are getting your Einstein patch PVC dual wielding the rhinos. You get a moon clip, a little tool to help you get your shells in and out of the clip. This red disc, which is another form of safety for when you're not using the Rhino. You also get this little handy multi-tool that you can use to adjust your sights and use it as a little screwdriver. And you also get this tool for your hop-up adjustment. A sticker. This thing is stunning. <laughs> and again now, this being the limited edition version. Oh, look at the markings on that. And here, look, gorgeous, charging rhino. So the first thing I have noticed about this, if you look carefully, especially near the front, look where the barrel is. That's nothing like what I'm used to. For example, is it me or does this kind of look like a rhino? <laughs> charging gorgeous design but let me tell you first that there are three companies involved in the creation so it's under license so it is a fully licensed chiapa and uh, but we have bow manufacturer to thank for that um, it's physically made by wing gun and assembled by chiapa in italy now for the rest of this video, I'm going to call this the Charging Rhino or Rhino. So on this limited edition, you have this gorgeous grip. Very nice. It's got some nice texturing on the side, almost like a stippling effect, I would say. And um, right there, you have the logo. And as you can see, it's an outline of a Rhino. Look at the texture on the back strap. Absolutely stunning. And you can see on the base of the grip right there that it is a CO2 model. And right there is where you get your finger in to prise it open. So right there you have your safety. Let's uh, put that back on. You have your cylinder release. You just push that down and out pops your cylinder. And oh my gosh, what a gorgeous shape. <laughs> While I'm here, I might as well show you, you do get six shells and they come shipped in the cylinder. <laughs> right now, back to the hammer. Technically, it's not a hammer. It's representing a hammer. There's an internal one inside. You use this to cock it. 
Remember this is single action and double action. Now that's ready, you can see that's as loose as you like, but it does return back home when you let go of it. So the hammer inside is cocked. Notice your trigger has gone far back. So it's a very nice short trigger pull. But when I say nice, oh my gosh. And listen, there's no CO2. I'm pointing it in a safe direction. I've got my eye pro on, just muscle memory. Okay, I'm gonna pull that trigger. Now I'm pulling that quite hard and nothing's happening. Please note, it is not a fault. This bad boy needs a good old pull for it to do anything. But funny enough, when you do double action, it's a bit easier. And notice that gorgeous barrel spinning. <laughs> nice. Now, those of you with eagle eyes, did you notice something? Something popping up and down? Well, this bad boy has a cocked indicator. Watch as I pull the hammer. <laughs> See that? That's your indicator. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me draw your attention to the rear sight. So not only have you got some nice adjustable rear iron sights, but this bad boy sports fiber optic sights. But these bad boys are actually Chiapa sights. Because you know, more often than not, you normally get some airsoft clones, but not on this bad boy. And then we have this very nice and cool looking hexagonal cylinder. And then right beneath that, you have your airsoft markings. And that's pretty much the only airsoft marking on this. Loving the color scheme. So you've got your trigger there and the whole cylinder system matching. Nice. And then we get to the business end. Now this being the Rhino 50DS, 50 marking that it's a five inch barrel. And beneath that, you have a rail system, but no rail system on the top. And of course, this being the limited edition version, loving how they have put Charging Rhino on the side. Charging. And then right here, you've got your official Chiapa front sight. So as we move around to this side, we are more logo fantastic on this side of the revolver. Right there, again, on this beautiful grip, you have a logo right there with the Rhino. And again, the official logo here and your real deal marking. And once again, charging Rhino. Charge. Okay, let's get this ready for an accuracy test and a chrono test. So again, right here, you have your cylinder release. You just push down on that, releases your cylinder and your shells. Now, remember I showed you this little moon clip for your shells? Bob's your uncle. I'll be honest with you though, I'm not sure if I'm a fan. I can see the benefits of it, keeps them all together, easier, faster reloads, easier to individually pop BBs in, easier to get them out and put them in, but I prefer the old fashioned way. <laughs> and then of course you pop a BB in each shell. Okay, let's get the CO2 in. So as I showed you earlier, you just get your finger in there and prise the grip apart. And inside the grip, you will find a little hex key and you use that to unscrew that, basically a massive grub screw. <laughs> and then you can pop your CO2 capsule in. And then when you're putting your side panel back on, make sure this little lip right there goes in first. Now, I do have one criticism straight away. Well, a couple of them, and I'll tell you right now, I won't leave it till the end. You see these bad boys down there? I'm talking about your disc, that tool, and that tool. Would you believe there's absolutely no mention at all in this instruction manual stating what they are? Come on. So already I have shown you that this is your hop-up adjustment tool and the way to adjust your hop up is right there. Then you have this little tool here and basically, if I put that on there like that, you can appreciate how that slots on, how it fits on. That just helps you. If you don't want to do it manually, taking these off and putting these uh, shells into your moon clip, you can use this. And then you have your cylinder protection cap. Now, this bad boy is ready. Let's say even though 
it's on safe, but you just want to put it back in its case because you're not going to use it in a particular game at that moment in time, there's a nice little added safety feature. Let's say you just want that little bit extra security and safeness and you want that visible no mistaken sign and there's no way whatsoever whilst that disc is in can anything leave the barrel. Right, let's see what this bad boy's got. Now remember this is single or double action. Now, let's see what the accuracy is saying. I'm going to put more BBs in this and I suppose, yeah, this will be a good time to show you your ejector. Now remember, they're in the moon clips, so turning it upside down like that, they're not going to fall out too easily. However, if I push down on the ejector, watch them go, but in one piece. <laughs> Again, Another good thing about having moon clips is that they stay together and don't scatter all over the place. Now, although I said I like doing things the old fashioned way and putting them in one by one, it's quite convenient and much quicker with your clip. Now, you don't have to be to work out that there's only six in the Rhino. So it's gonna be two there, two there and two there. Now you can probably work out what was happening with me. Remember again on this bad boy, there's the inner barrel inside there. There's your sights. And instead of trusting that this will do the job for me, if I line the sights up properly, I was trying to overcompensate. I was, I was bringing it up, bringing it up, which is why, as you can see, a couple or so of my shots were quite high. And then I decided to rely on the sights and trust in the Rhino and then look, dead on centre in terms of that line, but forget that one, look at this. So there you go people, this is the Chiapa Charging Rhino 50DS and this one is the limited edition version. Now if you're thinking, hold on, shouldn't the limited edition version actually say limited edition on it? Well apparently not. What makes this limited edition of course is the colour scheme. The fact that it's got Charging Rhino there, I could be wrong, there may be standard versions with that on there but so far. And of course, your fibre optic sights. And to be fair, the ones that I have seen, the actual lettering of limited edition on there, they've been the silver ones, I think. There may be a black one like this with the two-tone, this colour and that colour, but um, definitely limited edition in this scheme. And the fact that you get the patch, the hard case and things like that, you don't get all of that with the standard edition. Now, if you're not too bothered about something being a particular color or being a standard uh, edition, because the performance of the standard and the limited are exactly the same, okay? If that doesn't bother you, you're not bothered about a case or anything, these things come in a lot cheaper in the standard version. Check it out. Get your Google Smoogle on or check with your local retailer and you will see the price difference between the limited edition and the standard edition. Again, that's what these are on the front of this manual. Now, my negative, as I mentioned before, is that this manual is lacking, okay? It really only goes through the basics so that you can actually use this, but oh my gosh, they could have done with putting a bit more information in this. It's nice that it's got an exploded diagram and even gives you a nice bit of history on the back. But come on, the manual could be better. But as far as 
This charging rhino is concerned, oh my gosh, and I can't believe I'm gonna say this, this is my favorite Airsoft revolver to date. Thanks for watching. Catch me next time on the Airsoft Mike YouTube channel. And don't forget, I have another channel called Mike's Tech and Toys plus movie <laughs> memorabilia. Ah, I enjoyed that. Again, huge thanks to all my viewers, my subscribers, my casual viewers, and all my VIP members, especially Batman 206 WRC, Mathies Hocart or Hochart, I really don't know how to say that, Christopher Julin, Evil Bus Driver, Super Scotty 182, and the latest one to join, huge thanks to Woodland Warriors.